Rallies are held in Latakia and Antioch in condemnation of Erdogan's policy against Syria. Russia reiterates its call upon the Syrian parties and external players to abide by the Geneva Statement for resolving the crisis in Syria. An archers group assassinates Syrian TV cameraman colleague Haider Smoudi in front of his house in Kefar Susi, Damascus. And Syrian armed forces eliminate terrorists and target their hideouts and equipment in several areas. from the Syrian Armed Division in Damascus. An armed terrorist group assassinated Syrian TV cameraman colleague Haider Smoudi in front of his house in Kafar Susi, Damascus, while he was heading for his work at this new center in the Syrian Arab Television. Martyr Smoudi was born in Damascus 1967. He graduated from the Media Training Institute and worked as a cameraman in Thora Daily. Then he joined Syrian Television in 19... 98. Earlier, the armed terrorist groups assassinated colleagues Naji Asad, Ali Abbas, Shukri Abu Burghul, Basil Youssef, Muhammad Al Ashram, Maya Nasser, cameraman Ihsan Al Bunni, and Hatim Abu Yahya. A unit of the Syrian armed forces clash with an armed terrorist group in the surroundings of Daraya, Damascus countryside, inflicting heavy losses upon terrorists and confiscating their weapons. An official source in the city said that among the terrorists killed were Muhammad al Sayyid, Ahmad Shbib, and Faraj al Humsi. The source added that heavy machine guns, advanced snipers, and rifles were seized. Meanwhile, another army unit carried out a qualitative operation in Duma Farms, killing a number of the terrorists who were looting the citizens. In Hajira, an army unit also clashed with terrorist groups and killed many terrorists, destroying their dens and seizing their weapons. A unit of the Muslim Arab army clashed with an armed terrorist group who was attacking citizens and looting private and public properties near Abu Samra Palace in Hama, northern countryside, inflicting heavy losses upon the terrorists. A source in the city said that the clash led to the killing of the leader of the armed group along with all its members. In Idlib countryside, units of the armed forces have carried out a series of qualitative operations in different parts, destroying tents used by the terrorists, arms and ammunition stores and gatherings of terrorists. The units also targeted hideouts in al Ghassaniyah, Daftanaz, Atleha, Marat Noman, Binish, and Ariha towns, killing or wounding many of the terrorists. Moreover, vehicles used by the terrorists were also destroyed. And in Deir Zor, an army unit clashed with terrorists near Ghassan Abul roundabout, killing and wounding many of them and destroying their weapons. In Cinema Fuad Street, an army unit clashed with terrorists and killed several terrorists, including Hussein al-Saleh and Muhammad al-Ashari. The Tunisian terrorist Ali al-Qarbusi, who fled to Tunisia after taking part in criminal acts in Syria and against the Syrian people and army, said that the terrorist groups kill and burn any mercenary terrorist injured in the confrontation with the Syrian Arab army. Meanwhile, the British Independent newspaper affirmed that more than 29 states are sending terrorists to Syria. The Australian TV website said in a news report that Al-Qaeda linked on Nusra Front is responsible for the explosions that took place in Syria recently. And the website said that the terrorists from Al Nusra Front organization was seeking to found a Muslim state in Syria similar to Taliban in Afghanistan. The website added that the main orientation of Al Nusra Front provides for killing all those who do not support it. Denouncing Erdogan's policy towards Syria, massive demonstrations today have been held in Antioch, shouting slogans for toppling Erdogan's government, denouncing the violations that the Syrians face in the Turkish camps. The demonstrations held in cooperation with the Turkish Labour Party, the Turkish Youth Union and other political parties, as well as gathering from the Turkish people, especially Antioch citizens.
A solidarity stand was held in Latakia by women from Syria and Antioch in condemnation of the Turkish government's policies led by Turkey Prime Minister Rajab Tayyip Erdogan against Syria. The participants denounced deployment of Patriot missiles along Syrian-Turkish borders. They lashed out at the violations committed against the Syrians in the Turkish camps. Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Antioch and the whole East, John X, Yazidi, underlined the importance of dialogue and discarding violence for the benefit of the homeland and people. Patriarch Yazidi was speaking at a press conference at the Monastery of the Cross Church in Damascus. He added that Syria will make it through these hard times and security and stability will be restored. Russia reiterated its call upon the Syrian parties and external players to abide by the Geneva Statement for resolving the crisis in Syria. The Russian Foreign Ministry issued a statement on its website following a phone call between Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and the UN envoy in Syria, al ahdar al-Ibrahimi, saying Lavrov focused in his work with the Syrian parties on the need for applying the items of the final statement of the ministerial meeting held in Geneva on the 30th of last June. The ministry statement added that Lavrov stressed that the Geneva statement is irreplaceable to allow finding an exit for the stumbling situation and halting the violence and the use of force and starting a Syrian dialogue on the reforms in the country that serve the interests of all the Syrians. Russia asserted that its stand towards what's going on in Syria was clear, which based on the necessity of reaching a sustainable solution among all Syrians regarding their country's future and guaranteeing their best interests. Following the Russian-EU summit held in Brussels, Russian Foreign Minister, Russian President, excuse me, Vladimir Putin said in response of a question during a news press that there were differences between Russia and the EU on the situation in Syria, pointing out that both sides were working to reach a common ground on those differences through dialogue. Putin further added that his country's stance was clear towards what Syria was witnessing, adding that Syria, Russia did not protect the Syrian leadership and that Geneva statement should not be on paper only. President of the European Council, Herman Van Pompey, Rompe, excuse me, has called for exerting more efforts to reach a political solution in Syria, back up the mission of the UN's envoy to Syria, al ahdar al-Ibrahimi, protect the lives of the civilians and support the future of a democratic state in the country. On the occasion of Christmas, the Patriarchate Syriac Mar Afram Choir held a concert conducted by Shadi Emil Srua at the Lady of Damascus Church for Greek Catholics. Christmas songs were sung in an atmosphere of faith for a better day. I believe that Christmas joy would once again prevail in this country that has always been a cradle for peace and coexistence. The choir was funded by His Holiness Patriarch Mar Ignatius Zika, the first I was at St. George's Cathedral in 1980, the aim of which is to serve the cathedral's ritual, highlight the Syriac chanting and religious heritage, and participate in the Syrian musical life. With Christmas carols, we end our news. For more information, visit our website, www.syrianline.sy. Stay with us after the break. Vani has the latest in economy.